So we're doing some little fun. Uh, we already did the full, you know, four days of videos, four day summary thing. Uh, we said talked about in the last four, the fourth day video. We're gonna do some focus game stuff, uh, and that's what we call the Pax West focus games. Don't know if that's actually what's gonna be called, but that's what I'm calling it right now. At almost midnight, so or at eleven o'clock, whatever. First one I want to tackle is mm-hmm. Smash and Grab. Okay, I played it on uh, I believe day two, day two of PAX, and it was one of my highlight experiences of the event, and that's kind of what this is going to be about, the things that were our highlights. So I'm going to read a little bit from the press release just to give you guys an idea. Uh, This is essentially give you guys more in-depth than we may have gone into on stuff, or at least more focused on. So United Front Games, who you may know from uh, Sleeping Dogs, uh, Mm -hmm. their bold new vision for a 3x3 competitive gang warfare on PC. It's in a dystopian future. Uh, Smash and Grab is an illicit underground competition where rival gangs compete for loot, weapons, and infamy. Each team will need to grapple, shoot, and smash their way to victory by collecting 50,000 in goods from locked down high-end shopping districts or from the opposing team. It's rapid-fire, roughly 15-minute matches. Players rate increase the larger stores. And yeah, so, one thing, you know, it's 3v3. You have a character that you can create some, you know, do some vanity stuff with, but on top of that, you can, um... Uh, change their skills up and and things of that nature and you also can choose your lieutenant and you can choose your gang members and each all things have different things some are better at stealing quicker some are better at range some are better at melee attack most of your attacks are melee based for most characters though there are range characters Um, you have three things to do you can smash grab and block and it's a rock paper scissors thing those aren't in the title (laughs) but you know block isn't but essentially, they, yeah, they're all, um, they work on a rock, paper, scissor thing. You know, A, B, B, you know, kind of thing. So, um, grab beats block, block beats smash, smash beats grab. Uh, and, you know, that allows a, a nice little tactical aspect when you're playing. And, you know, it, 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 it ends up being this really fun, and again, it's like, it's like 15 minutes mm-hmm. uh, match. And the longer it goes, uh, the it, different modifiers get brought into play. And you end up with this really cool really enjoyable experience and it, it seriously is my most anticipated uh competitive game yep i think we're, we're just gonna explain like you remember state emergency the game that rockstar kind of sweeps under a rug uh that but good yeah that but good and as a competitive multiplayer game essentially um it was a competitive wait no what's your multiplayer i don't think so i, I mm. it was announced multiplayer and like i think if i remember right when the controversy of that game is it had announced multiplayer. no one wants to remember what that game was i talk no, about state emergency yeah nobody really remembers it like the similarities essentially in between the two is like you could break open windows in that game and rob it so like to rob stuff you smash open a window and you can like grab in there and some places have like weapons that you can use that you can also then take to an upgrade station and upgrade based on a uh, loot you find around the map mm-hmm. to give different abilities like bleed effects and things like that and you can also find loot that'll automatically get distributed to your lieutenants and your uh, your minions a la overwatch with minions that's what i could not stop thinking about okay. not overwatch not overlord god oh, lord. Dear, i dear. am tired Overlord with things. Got to make a mistake if we're making a video. It's just a rule. Yeah, Overlord. It's a very reminiscent of how you upgrade your minions, kind of thing, where they just they pick up something and it's like, ooh, mine, you know, kind of thing. Except it's a little like you know, gangbanger. So um, that's Smash and Grab from United Front Games, uh, which is going into uh, having a beta weekend this coming weekend, and then additional beta stuff and early. I, I, I forgot fucking forgetting right now but i believe early access later in the year is what i said yes um so yeah uh check it out it's gonna be on steam and sort of platforms so sign off <laughs>